my consciousness opened up to another level. Anybody can do it. It's just that this cult don't want us to do it. You're operating within a bubble of perception, a bubble of information, and then someone comes along out of nowhere, doesn't give you any warning, and pops the bubble. I started to feel this, what I would now call electromagnetic field. I didn't know about that then. And I started to feel my feet being pulled to the ground like magnets. And I started to feel an energy going through me that way and out that way, out the top of my head and into the top of my head, through my feet into the ground. Now, vast amounts of information, concepts, things of all kinds are pouring into your conscious and subconscious mind that weren't before. Why are they secret societies? To keep secrets from the rest of the population. Now, I could see things and how things connected that I couldn't see before. What we call the world is a ridiculously narrow band of frequency called visible light and the electromagnetic spectrum. And according to mainstream science, the electromagnetic spectrum and visible light, which is the only world reality that we can see, is a smear of the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, mainstream science says that that spectrum, never mind visible light, represents about naught point naught naught five percent of what exists in the universe so we don't live in a world we live in a band of frequency which our body brain uh, uh, if you like decoding system can decode into a reality a holographic reality the human body is a field of information and we are decoding these fields Think of Wi-Fi field. Think of the body as a Wi-Fi field of information. We decode the body into holographic reality. The body actually only exists in our, in, in, in our decoded uh, senses, uh, in the form that we see it, in its other form. It's an electromagnetic field of information. If you look at computers and the technological Wi-Fi world we live in now, what you're looking at is a technological reality that mimics real reality, our experience reality, and how we create it. You've got a Wi-Fi field. Okay, where is it? Where's the Wi-Fi field? Point it out to me. Well, I can't, because you can't see it, right? Now, if you didn't know about computers, and I said to you, there is a field of information um, that we're living in like a sea, people would say, well, where is it? I can't see it. Therefore, it can't exist. But because people know about computers, you, um, you say, you know, you know, there's a field of information and, and you, you can decode, oh yeah, yeah, I know about that, Wi-Fi, that's right. And the only difference between that's rubbish, mate, and oh yeah, I know about that, is knowledge, knowledge of what you are experiencing and what you're talking about in terms of reality. So what does the computer do? You've got a Wi-Fi field full of information in the form of radiation, basically. And the computer decodes it onto the screen. You say to people, tell me about the internet. And they say, oh yeah, well, it's pictures and graphics and text and all that stuff and websites. Yes, it is, but only on the screen. On the screen is the only place the internet exists in that form. Everywhere else, it's electronic codes and Wi-Fi. We decode reality in exactly the same way. The five senses take waveform information, think Wi-Fi, turns it into electrical information, feeds it to the brain, and there are different parts of the brain that specialize in decoding the different senses, and the brain decodes that electrical information into holographic digital information. And that is what we experience as the world around us. It's not around us, it's inside us, all of us. Just as the internet is inside this computer and we look at it uh, from afar. Say you're tasting something 
you don't taste it with the tongue. You taste it via the tongue, which sends electrical information representing the taste frequency to the brain, which decodes it, and then it becomes yummy or that's horrible. Take um, the hearing senses. What's passing between us and what passes between all of us when we're communicating are not words. They're wave field, frequency fields generated by the vocal cords. And these are picked up by the ears that turn them into electrical information, feed it to the brain, and only when the brain decodes it do you hear words. I'll give you an example. Does a falling tree make a noise? Well, only if you hear it. And what I mean by that is, if a tree falls, what it's doing, it's an electromagnetic field and it is causing a disturbance in the wider electromagnetic field as it moves. If there's no one there to decode that di disturbance, then a falling tree doesn't make a noise. If there is someone there, they pick up that disturbance with the ears, that electromagnetic disturbance, and they decode it into the sound of a tree falling. It's all an illusion. And this is what they don't want us to know because they know it is and they're manipulating the illusion to control human beings. But to do that, they've got to keep from us that it is an illusion. Therefore, infinity exists outside this narrow band of frequency, but we can't see it just as when you're tuned to a, a radio station or a television station, you only experience that frequency, that station, that uh, reality. What happens when you switch the zapper is you switch to a different, if you like, frequency and you get a different reality. Instantly, we call them different channels. Now, these um, different realities um, operate in different bands of frequency. And just like radio frequencies, etc., these bands of frequency, as long as they're not too close on, on the dial to each other, when you get interference, they can share the same space without being um, affecting um, all the others. And each one not even being aware that all the others exist. We are basically experiencing a holographic television channel, which we call the world. And outside of that are all the other uh, realities of infinite reality and only when these realities get close on the dial do you get interference and one of those areas of interference if you like is um is what we call ghosts and uh, paranormal things and such like when you get two radio stations close on the dial you get interference one is the dominant one you can hear and the other one is, you can't hear it, but you can, you, you, uh, well, but you can hear it, it's interfering. Well, in a visual form, that's what a ghost is. It's operating on a level of frequency that's not spot on the one that we are experiencing. Thus, it doesn't look solid like it would if it was on our frequency, but it's interfering enough that you can see it, especially if you're sensitive. And this is sensitive in terms of um, frequencies. I've had experiences um, over the years of um, phenomenal uh, amounts of information that you can pick up if you if you um, expand your awareness beyond the, the tiny band of frequency that we have. Anybody can do it. It's just that this cult don't want us to do it. And that's why we're constantly pressured to uh, perceive the world only through the five senses, which means only through this narrow band of frequency called physical light. We are all um, aspects of one infinite awareness that has not changed one iota we are points of attention within the same infinite state of awareness and and that individuality that we experience is our individual point of attention but we are all part of the same whole we're all if you like droplets um, in the same ocean and we are the droplet and we are the um ocean.